hello guys so welcome in another um, blight focused uh, video it's been a while um, i haven't uploaded anything for last two months uh, i quit the leak so yeah i just chilled waited for a new leak and yeah <laughs> uh, expect now a few videos in this video we will summarize uh, 3.19 uh, what changes it had how it impacted uh, blighted maps, as you probably know yourself, but yeah, we'll go through uh, some strategies that I tested and to give you maybe idea on what to do in the first days of this league, what I will be doing in the first days of this league. And uh, then I will upload probably um, before the league start <clears throat> few more videos to cover those topics like uh, the patch notes and what changes are upcoming for, for this league. What I predict will happen with blighted maps load, uh, what build I'm going to play, what build I'm going to transition and a little bit about uh, this channel in, in this league, right? So uh, there are a few things I wanted to say and to, let's say uh, set the expectations for you uh, nothing big but you know like a uh, short update so uh, right <laughs> so let's start with a uh, summarization of the last patch so in the last patch we did not have much changes of course they fixed some problems that were in 3.17 and 18 with blighted maps like not working map device etc never mind um also like uh, the you know uh, epidemiology uh, uh, note so there were changes to that one but in 3.19 all we had is uh, reflective oil and of course unfortunate changes with arch nemesis and loot so what was the impact impact was that the overall loot i believe in every content was nerfed uh not only this but we went from divine orbs to exalted orbs which additionally nerfed the loot uh, but the biggest impact on on our loot and the gameplay was of course um, arch nemesis mods this is for two reasons so first reason was that in 3.18 so in the previous league uh, they let's say made few changes to arch nemesis mods and by the let's say mid league the ravaged maps went smooth there were no more monsters leaking mm, it was pretty easy to clear i don't know i was happy with uh, with the changes they made i remember uh, in the first week it was very hard to do ravaged maps uh, some random blue monsters were leaking just like the uh, 3.19 right so 3.19 was also a shit show uh they recreated arch nemesis and let's say all the problems we had in 3.18 came back uh, because they redone the arch nemesis even though it was perfectly fine for me in 3.18 but okay i mean perfectly fine uh compared to what it was by the beginning of 3.18 but let's say enough about 3.18 so in 3.19 they uh, revamped arch nemesis uh, and they revamped loot so those arch nemesis monsters had those modifiers that converted all the loot we dropped from the pump into flasks into fractured items or into jewelry and it was shit <laughs> so um, about flasks so i bought this uh, stash tab that i recommend you to do um, I'm not sure if there will be many flasks dropping, but uh, when you play ravaged maps, they drop with eye level 85, um, up to 87, right? Uh, so I believe it's uh, it's a range from 83 or 84 up to 87. Uh, this makes those flasks, uh, let's say, this makes those flasks to be able to roll uh, both T1 mods and those go for up to one divine early in the league, right? And uh, you will also drop some mage plot flasks. Uh, so those have uh, increased effect, right? I, I'm 
think I have some of those or maybe I saw yeah so it has increased effect right so all you need to do is use your um, orbs and craft this and then you have like mage blood flask bam 100 C or 150 uh, so I made, I made a lot thanks to this stash tab that, that that's how POE works um, you get more stash tabs you get better profit but this one is really nice at least uh, it was with the arch nemesis uh, mods but the other arch nemesis mods weren't that profitable so the fractured items okay i know you could make like seven divines by identifying a uh, nice pair of gloves or uh, claws or whatever and you had a great base but it was let's say it was i don't know tedious uh you had to have a lot of quad tabs just <laughs> put everything in a quad tab i have just two quad tabs and this is for ju jewelry mostly and also for my loot breakdowns uh, i have a lot of premium tabs where i you know usually trade jewelry because it only takes one slot and can be valuable as well as an item but of course you drop more items so than jewelry so um, yeah, if someone has like folders and endless, you know, <laughs> infinite amount of stash tabs, sure, yeah, you do it. Fractured items, great. <laughs> you probably made fortune uh, because you, you've put like um, one, one divine uh, price and then, you know, uh, it's something expensive and then you price check it. And what I do is I collect jewelry, I put like 10k OS price, if somebody pings me I check what they uh, ask me for. Actually now uh, you see this in the chat so <laughs> this is great because you no longer need to find an item to see if it's worth it, you just you know play the game, look oh bam, they, they want something good. Uh, right, so uh, so th this was uh, this was uh, what they changed. So two things: the arch nemesis mods that were leaking. So you had, let's say, constant constant stress about uh, waves leaking and not about bosses, but also about blue monsters, which was bad. And the second was loot. So uh, besides the arch nemesis mods that were changing the loot from the pump, which was already, let's say, I don't know, 10, maybe percent of, of, of your overall loot, maybe 15%, I don't know, but it was definitely a uh, visible amount of, of your money. Mm, then we lost exalted shards, right? So they changed divines to exalted orbs and divine orbs don't have shards and as per my calculations 10 maps 10 ravaged maps uh, the ju let's say end game just uh, dropped around one exalt in shards yeah. so you dropped somewhere from maybe 12 to 16 maybe 20 shards per 10 maps so yeah so in in <laughs> divine per hour 10 maps is one hour so it's almost divine divine orb per hour that is missing uh, i mean they took it away from us but they took it away also from harbingers from mapping and you know from other content that drop charts so this is what they did mm, we have to live with with that mm, also another change stack decks so the stack, stack decks uh, dropped a lot of exalted cards. We lost that. This is worthless. Now they add some divination cards. I hope those new divination cards will make up for the exalted orbs uh, because it's a pity. And again, yeah, uh, having this dust touch up makes you a lot of money. And early in the league, I'm just uh, changing all the stack decks into cards and yeah i just you know have fun changing them uh, so i just uh, collect until they are full i use exiles next to find expensive cards and sell them let's say before they are full uh, oh i can crash through it now uh, so so don't sell your stack decks early in the league, just hunt for big cards. Uh, if you make some currency, you can buy like a mirror shard, 
you might uh, I don't know you might uh, buy some mirror uh, shard cards you, you might want to buy a headhunter card for your early um, income that's a good investment it will grow with time mm. what else right so well let's go to the uh, early game strats because this is what this video should be about so um, going to my channel I uploaded a video of exactly that uh, yeah it was uploaded like um, three days into the league because yeah I think somebody asked for it uh, I wrote a little bit of you know tips but yeah it doesn't matter what is important is uh, this announcement uh, like the scout tower still uh, increased damage and you get this okay let's take one ring okay okay, okay. Uh, where it is here so it's your double amber mm, yeah that's a good anoint for day one you can go with uh, empowering towers have increased effect you can go with uh, scout towers range uh, with meteor I believe it was yeah uh, with meteor this is more like for ravaged or maybe for red maps without amber oils in the beginning I don't really like this uh, anoint I don't know you, you have to stun lock everything early in the league I'm just spamming uh, empowering towers maybe freezing tower per one crossroad and empowering towers maybe trying to stun lock if i have more currency of course uh, yeah but the most important thing for your first day is uh, like in this video uh, it's running maps uh, with double amber so this is your basic and mandatory setup for any tier right so you can start with level one lighted maps which are like three to four c on day one that's fine uh, because the less you pay the more you earn but yeah you might want to have big drops you won't have those from uh, tier one you won't get golden oil and silver oil and opal oil right that's why you go up with uh, with maps as you go um, the goal for your campaign is to get 10 chaos orbs um, or more right but 10 chaos orbs is fine you buy one map for free, maybe another for four, another for free, and you drop more chaos and of course a shit ton of other currency. Maybe you drop a rare a unique item or some good rare item and you upgrade your build or you sell it and get more chaos for more blighted maps and this is how you roll and you do blighted map in five minutes, you get for instance two row chaos pack, you get some oils because because you won't have any oils right after campaign, so you just uh, maybe you have alchemy or if not just go just go uh, run blue map right so <laughs> use your transmute and maybe you roll some mods I don't know uh, try to try to do best thing that you can let's say pop up the difficulty uh, but if you don't have amber oils be careful maybe first map is better to run if you have let's say minimum amount of chaos and you are not sure and you are not experienced blighted player maybe run it clean run it white so it just drops like any oils if you get amber oil the next map will be very easy that's your goal right uh, run your map with double amber i suggest you going with teal for shorter run and if you play low levels like i don't know seven six eight level eight tier mm, yeah this, this might be better but if you run like level 12 level 13 which is your goal by day two uh, run it with crimson and this is this is not much it's 10 chests are lucky but yeah this is something this is better loot so you have two options it's up to you I will be testing some early game setup and I will tell you <laughs> uh, maybe what's better what's more profitable uh, if it's like tier 11 tier tier 12 tier 13 14 based on clear time difficulty on day one 
so I will try to test like 10 maps, store the loot, uh, see if it's even possible to measure it that early on. But yeah, I will try to give you a hint, upload a video about what I'm doing, what, what I find, found out, maybe something interesting will pop up that I haven't thought about. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the plan. As soon as this is too easy, so the goal for me is tier tier 14, at least tier 14. Uh, then I will rather do tier 14s, or maybe even tier 13, 12, or actually 12 cannot drop golden oil. So I think uh, tier 13 will be like optimal for early on. So I will try to drop this at another crimson, right? Mm, when I will be, let's say, doing this easily, I'll drop this and add black, right? Etc. Right, and that should be like optimal setup for early on, like doing T15s, not 16s, because 16s are always expensive, have worse layouts, and uh, yeah. yeah, the risk is not, let's say, uh, risk is not welcome early on. You don't want to lose your map for 20C. Uh, that makes no sense, especially if you use Opal oils, which are like 7C, 8C early on. That's that's really stupid. So this might not be the best idea. That increases, uh, let's say, chance for golden oil, but the golden oil is not that expensive. So it's you know, it's all about finding the the balance. Uh, it's all about the changes they did. Uh, in last league, this setup was not worth it. Yeah, but two leagues ago, it was worth it. <laughs> I mean, not not this exactly, but uh, something like this, or even this was. <laughs> This was the uh, best setup for blighted maps uh, in 3.17 or 18. So in 3.19 they changed a lot and uh, it was not worth it to choose your maps. So actually the cheaper, the better. Or many people just did this and they had like two minutes runs, bam, no loot, but it takes two minutes and you try again and you can drop like Enlighten, you can drop like Golden Oil, you can drop uh, something expensive and then you are happy. But overall, uh, I don't write, I, I don't like free pool tills because getting good loot, which is like most of your profit is very rare. Uh, if you add some juice, it's much more common and the black oils are very powerful, at least uh, one, I'm not sure if one makes that difference, but two, like this, this can create some nice combo. Uh, so I will test this. Anyway, uh, going back to um, to early strats, so remember about the anoint. Uh, I have four link in this video, I'm doing uh, in this video tier 11. Um, so even though it's like day, day three, of the league because I didn't play on day one, on day two I uh, finished campaign and maybe did a few maps, on day three I recorded this video. Um, well, where I'm showing... Uh, oh yeah, so yeah, this is, let's say, pretty just map. It has <coughs> item rarity 46, tier 11, so yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good map and this build is shit, right? I have better build this league. But even with this shitty build, I did not have much problems. You can see, w watch this video yourself. Uh, I already used like uh, some filter to filter things out. Uh, but yeah, you get a shit ton of currency, some items, some, maybe some divination cards. So that's definitely worth it. And this way, by doing blights early on, before you do any atlas, uh, you get a lot of maps and this is going to be huge this league because we're gonna have this roguelike mechanic and you will need a lot of maps and by playing blighted maps your storage gets full so i believe i sold like 600 maps already and i have 600 tier 16 maps by the end of the league when when, where, when i quit i didn't care about profit so i didn't even sell this right but <laughs> You get shit ton of maps and you can burn them so you can just open the map bam activate the leak mechanic store the floor next 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 and just play the rock like and you know have fun with it. it the profit doesn't matter there as long as you have fun so 
uh, collector maps with plated maps. That's <laughs> that's what I do. Uh, okay, going to mid league strats. So when you finish your, let's say, <laughs> when you when you complete your build, so that you have some damage and you know you're bored with normal blights because normal blights are profitable too. I will I will check this exactly, but uh, you won't get like seven or 12 divine per hour early on right in, in mid league it's not possible at least it was not mo not possible with arch nemesis being that strong you had to have serious damage uh, i had to invest like i don't know 100 divines to make ravaged maps uh, without support oils so let me find the strat uh, that it will be your first. Uh, it's 3.18, I'm sorry, right? This is 3.19. So this is what I tested. It was little but it was little bit better in 3.18. In 3.19, it just resulted at four divines per hour. I think if you do normal blights with uh, what I explained before, you will get somewhere between three to four to that's 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 how I feel. I will test this exactly. But if this isn't, this is not true, I will jump into this strat as soon as possible. If I won't be able to do like four four divines per hour, I will be starting uh, ravaged maps because they can drop some interesting stuff. Mm. So this strat is triple tail oil, right? So maybe I will just uh, present it here so that's easier. So you, you will get triple teal oil for faster runs. That's mandatory. Don't run your Ravage maps without it. It's completely not worth it. I tested this last league. So your first strat will, needs to have three teal oils. Then it needs to have two amber oils at maximum. And this is maximum. So you should reduce this to zero. But if you want to jump early on, you need to clear it with that. No fucking clear oils, no fucking sepia oils, please. Just do normal plighted maps, not ravaged. You will be better off, trust me. Uh, but if you want ravaged, go with double amber. That makes your tower costs basically zero. You create stun locks. So, you know, the crossroad, like freezing tower, stun tower, empowering tower. Then you use your... Uh, Chilling tower, uh, this is actually uh, for late game, but you use your burning ground anointment for your second ring, right? So those two anointments, chilling tower and meteor are mandatory for early uh, ravage strat. And then you just it with uh, free crimson, one black, or actually you can play with uh, two blacks, right? So two crimson, two black. I think that will be better early on because the bl two black oils uh, increased by uh, sorry, uh, epidemiology makes the loot duplicated. Uh, it just it just let's say feels better, and we don't get so many lucky drops anymore. Uh, we don't get uh, those divination cards anymore, no, the exalted cards, I mean. So we lost a little bit of our profit and uh, possibility to scale the loot with oils. And the black oil is very cheap and it's it adds overall a lot of currency. Let's say it won't result in, in big drops like uh, opal and silver uh, combination did, but and golden, yeah, golden oil was actually better black, but now for so much money, it's not worth it. But the black oil is a small golden oil. So one golden oil is, uh, is 25%, of course, that's increased by epidemiology, but two are like 12. So it's like half black oil and you pay nothing because you sustain them. So that's brilliant. The same with crimson eyes. You need to buy them once in a while, but mostly you sustain them and you upgrade your violet oils. 
what else, right? Uh, so that will be your mid leak strat. Mm, and with this strat, or with normal blaze, you should make enough currency to make your end game build. And I suggest, if you want to get rich, you want to get, I don't know, mage plot with ravaged maps, if that's your idea, and you just like the content like I do, because I could, you know, uh, play simulacrum, I could like uh, level up gems and make a lot of currency and, you know, try hard the game, but I, I just don't like it, you know, uh, I'm playing for fun. To me, my goal is to like make a character that makes this content easy. I, wa I want to play with like I don't know w with this content. Try to try different stuff and maybe then finish my build. Try other content. You know, play with the game. Make third character. I don't know. There is a lot of things to do, and the game is in good shape. Uh, so when you get your end game build, or I recommend you, uh, of course, Phantasmal Cremation on Earth, which makes splited maps a walk. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's on my channel how it looks like. Then it's easy and you, you get rich, you get mage blood, you get money for your third character, you do whatever you want. So, just to summarize, best starter strat, uh, day one, uh, by T1 map, run it clean, get some oils, uh, buy more maps, use amber and whatever. Uh, maybe you can use clear oil if you're feeling unsafe. Uh, get to T13s with X amber, X crimson, uh, reduce ambers, play. Uh, or bit until you feel okay with the strat, right? So okay, we can add until you feel okay with the 15s because that's your goal. Then play until you are okay. So that's your that's summarization of your strategy. Uh, early. That will be an amber and maybe maybe range. So that's violet tier. Uh, that will be uh, better for T15s because they started to be they start to be challenging. This is the time when you have like early league build, no investments, uh, and you have a lot of monsters. This AOE helps. So you go back to the uh, crossroads, stunlock strategy you don't need the freezing tower because normal blights don't have increased speed so you don't have and don't you don't need the uh, chilling tower freeze strategy you on, you only need uh, stun chill tower plus you know basic towers right then when you are below tier actually 15 use scout towers to spam them do you need anoints uh So yeah, so that's your, let's say, early game strategy. And now the mid game strategy is mm, 
actually that's five, so we have four more. Yeah, that would be a strategy, the optimal one. Mm, of course, you can, if you're fine, maybe you can try opals, but last leak it was not worth it. Maybe this leak it will be changed. Uh, and end game strat, so currently we are at. Uh, that's that's very late into the league, like two weeks into the league minimum, and I'm not getting there in December definitely because I'm going for holiday. But yeah, the best strategy was uh, this one: silver, black, black, and three opals. So I won't uh, say much. You have everything on my channel about these strats. I went through the details of it, but that's uh, just for your information. So once again, that's silver plus nice black plus strings open plus strings deal. Right. So this is the best uh, strategy. It was five divines per hour in those twenty items. Right. So it's not five. Five defines per hour. Mm, let me find this. Uh, let me find this tab. Okay, mm, this is this. Right. Yeah. So it was seven defines per hour, but yeah, it was very fast run because yeah, this is. If you didn't watch my videos, this is because the more golden and silver oils you add, or mm, if you valor them, your maps, uh, you get, uh, let's say, oh, sorry, uh, it was this one, black, black, silver, silver, opal, opal, right, so, yeah. Sorry, yeah because this is in relation to, to this one. Yeah. So, uh, right, so we need to find it. Yeah, so it's nine device, so that, that's the difference. And it's yeah, probably because I didn't fail anything that's a little bit faster, but that's what you should expect, like 65 minutes per 10 maps. And the reason why this is the best is because the more golden and silver oils and opals you add, um, the more you have to loot. So you cannot finish, and of course, uh, you need to make, let's say, one more jump to your hideout and back. And this increases this to, for instance, 70. So if we just add five minutes here, uh, and if you fail, you lose your golden oil. Uh, but every five minutes, it's like, Half a divine per hour, right? So if you you should be making this in 60, I was using 65, uh, but 60 is uh, realistic with this setup and could filter. But yeah, I'm not trying to exaggerate. So 65 is fine. And that's what you should be getting, like around nine divines per hour uh, in your load, uh, where at least or around five divines gets in uh, those top 20 items which are let's say bulk sellable so yeah this is what you can expect and uh, that makes this video so it was a little bit longer uh, than i expected but yeah i hope those are uh, good information for you uh, the next video will cover some patch notes changes uh, maybe some predictions, uh, what will happen in the league start, what to expect, and a little bit about uh, inventory management. Uh, I wanted to cover what to do with all the new loot and stuff. So, yeah, so that will be a much shorter video, but nevertheless, I wanted to cover this. Then we will talk about uh, blighted builds and what I'm going to start with, where to find guide, uh, maybe we will cover filters, uh, so how to set up your filters early on and how to, let's say, 
modify them yourself as you go and yeah and we will maybe um, I don't know if I will make this before leak start if not I will just uh, create some update video during the leak so maybe there will be some more strat videos in between but I at least aim to create two more videos before leak starts and so that you are ready and you can follow up what I'm doing and you know get rich with blighted maps so yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next video cheers <laughs>